what is going on everybody welcome back to phones and drones if you guys follow the channel you know we've talked about this for a little while now but we are super excited for live activities specifically for sports fans and us being a big jaguar fan unfortunately uh we love the idea of being able to follow scores while we're browsing the phone and doing everything else there was a test that was being ran on the back end with apple and the tv app where you can uh, activate live activities kind of went away in the betas in 16.1 excuse me 16.2 beta one we actually have a new update the card is there i'm going to show you it in a second but it is still not active on the back end but there are new apps now to take advantage of it and we finally have found one that's been working pretty well to finally have those live activity scores right there on your home screen or wherever you're swiping in the app on that dynamic island. So not only that, you have your lock screen notifications as you can see there as well. And additionally, if you go ahead and long press on it, you can get a little bit more detail right there. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'll show you how to activate it. I'll show you more of a demo of how it works. Let's do it. Okay, so for this example, we're gonna use the Sports Alert app. I like this one just because it is free and dynamic island notifications, lock screen notifications, do not sit behind a paywall. Totally understand why developers are implementing that, but for this example, nothing you have to pay for to utilize these live activities. So when, right when you want launch the app, you'll be able to kind of organize what your favorite sports are. You can actually change it and favorite whatever you need from NFL, NCAA, um, F1 even, MLB, NBA, all of that good stuff. You can actually organize it through your settings as well if you choose to do it this way it's a pretty all-inclusive app but not even breaking down the app itself what i want to show you is how exactly to enable these and how they work so for instance for an nba game that is going on right now and you do unfortunately have to wait till the game is active to take advantage of this but say for instance you want to follow the dallas and new orleans game one you actually long press on it you can see it gives you the option to start a live activity or follow the game right when you click on that you are good to go so when you swipe away you can see it launches that live activity right there and it does update pretty quick uh, and consistently over the span of the game now again your information is minimal you have the team's logos and the scores when you long press it will tell you the court uh, what quarter it is or what period it's in and the time remaining some other apps, including Apple's own TV app when it was in the beta form, uh, you were able to actually see a little bit more information here, but not as far as Sports Alert goes just yet. So having said that, you can also lock it and you can see that persistent lock screen notification for the score as well. Guys, this is one of the most exciting aspects I think of iOS 16. I truly do like this. Obviously it's not just tied specifically to sports uh, apps and all that, but I think this is going to be one of the most utilized features, at least for myself personally. If you ever want to get rid of it, you can just swipe this notification away. But what will happen is once you unlock it, if you swipe up, it goes right back into that dynamic island. And again, if you swipe this away and unlock it, you can see it's not there anymore. So just a quick run through to show you guys it's out there. Carrot supports it. Lock Launcher supports it. There's a ton of new apps out there that are there with this feature built in. It's been updated, but I still think for a sports app itself, Sports Alerts is the way to go for now. Long press, start activity, and swipe away. That's all for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Are you excited for live activities? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.